I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live on the autism spectrum or have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism and the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice to those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as friends, families, uh, educators, peers, mentors, employers, job coaches, professionals, and the like. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about. Now before I get to the meat of uh, tonight's blog, what I'm going to do is mention two things. So first and foremost, please be sure to uh, check out this TED Talk up here in the upper right hand corner. This is by someone who goes by the name of Dr. Ami Klin. And he has a uh, study out uh, on eye tracking technology, and he's also the director of the Marcus Autism Center right here in Atlanta. And he is one of my favorite people, and I have met him on a couple occasions. So please be sure to check him out. A second thing that I would like you guys to do is check out my own blogs, which are research-based and scholarly. And you can find those on Hello World 240.wordpress.com. That's Hello World 240.wordpress.com. And what I would like to do now is um, not only talk about my experiences of living with autism or Asperger's, but also give tips and advice. But first, I'm going to start with a definition. So I'm going to start you off with two words social blunder. Now, what is a social blunder? A social blunder is something that an individual on the autism spectrum will often have. And it means that we often have no filter. And it doesn't mean that it's always in words necessarily. It can also be in actions. And it means that we have a, a hard time understanding what boundaries are unless somebody is direct and tells us not to do something. And it also means that we have a tendency to be very blunt or straightforward and also be very honest, and that sometimes uh, throws other people off. And so, most recently, I was invited to a birthday party, and I was going to go, however, I was feeling overwhelmed and I really felt like it was time for me to know my limits. So I decided to decline the offer and decide to uh, do other things. So I wrote on the Facebook page or the Facebook invitation, I think I will sit this one out. And of course the other people hosting the party were upset about that and they thought I was directly being mean. However, uh, I was not trying to be mean, I was just letting them know that it was, it's not a good idea for me to go. And I also found out that uh, that's not the most appropriate response, but rather it's uh, a way of letting somebody know I don't want to be there. And see, that is an example of a social blunder, and that it is an example of stepping over boundaries and giving people the wrong idea or throwing them off. And I have some tips and advice. I don't really know how, uh, quite how to phrase uh, the whole thing with social blunders, but I guess my suggestion for the autism and Asperger community would be to uh, possibly um, ask a person uh, whether or not they think something is appropriate or inappropriate. Uh, you could text them or call them directly or go to their office and say, well, would it be appropriate if I did that? Or you might want to tell them, well, sometimes I have a hard time understanding and stepping over somebody else's boundaries. Uh, could you please uh, let me know beforehand what would be appropriate and what would not be? Please don't be mad at me and please know that I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm just trying to communicate the best way that I can. So th that's one uh, set of advice. A second thing that you need to do is uh, whenever you do have a social blunder, please know that 
you aren't doing it on purpose. And please do not try to beat yourself up. It just means that you are learning and growing. So, anyway, I'm out of time for today. If you have any questions or comments on what I've just talked about, please be sure to state below. Also, be sure to uh, share my blogs on Twitter and on any form of social media and with your autism support groups and with your therapy groups and with your classes. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now.